one. But this is a video for Dodge guys, basically. Let me tell you a story. Uh, I bought this tailgate from an online auction. I saw pictures of it and, and it had a crease in it right here, which uh, since I bought it, I've had it sent out repaired. So I got a brand new tailgate. Uh, this truck's a 2011 and this tailgate was off of 2019 and I knew it was gonna fit. They haven't changed, but I did run into one problem and that's with my backup camera. I lost it and I'll show you why. The problem I unsuspectingly ran into lies behind this cover and I'll just pop it out and show you. I'll show you the truck harness first. The truck harness factory is an eight pin and it only uses five of the eight wires. This 2019 tailgate uses a 10 pin and the reason it has a 10 pin is because this tailgate also locks now that's not a big feature for me and even if it was I couldn't use it because I don't have enough wires coming out of my factory harness so I could have cut these two connectors off and just directly put the wires together to get my camera working it's not likely, but if I ever wanted to take my tailgate off, that would require cutting the wires or putting in splices that are removable, which I don't like to do because it's just a point for corrosion. So I found a replacement harness, which I hope works. I bought the eight pin wiring harness. I'm not gonna change this one because it's good, but what I wanna do is change this 10 down to an eight. And that's gonna require pulling some wires out and changing the connector so i found that at chrysler it took a long time to research when i came across it it's called a wiring tailgate for the camera uh, although it does have no wiring in it whatsoever now here's the part number if this does pertain to you 6805-0963 aa uh, when i called to order this they told me that as of three or four months ago it's been discontinued and I'm into right now it's March 2020 so if you need this Google this number there's a lot of them that people still have in stock uh, I'm in Canada Ontario and I got this baby actually I found it on eBay that was the cheapest price but it came from Dallas Okay, so when it says uh, harness, basically it comes with no wiring at all, which I'm going to swap out, and this is the one that goes on the truck, which I'll just keep as a spare for now. This is the baby. At this point, use the wires, use the five wires out of this one I need, and I'll leave the other, how many are there in here? There's eight. I'll leave the other three, I'll just just tape them up I'll never probably never use them but we'll take the five we need out of here and we will put them into here and we'll hope that it works so really the first thing I'm gonna do here is I took off this plastic piece uh, it's over there I'm just gonna cut some of this tape back expose a few wires Alright, so I didn't realize I wasn't recording, but uh, in the center of the plug, this this piece comes out. And you can, if you have a, a hook or something, you can just put it inside and pull it out. You can see how it clips in right there. And you can start pulling them out one by one. It's really hard to see, of course, but if you go down inside, there's another little clip. You just push it down and you can start pulling them out like that so these actually when it's not in there this is what you're pushing down on inside is uh, this white piece down here 
it's like a spring piece of plastic so I'll just go ahead move it out of the way and then give it a pull from the bottom and they pop right out I'll match the wires up uh, according to the pins on the other connector so we got five out three more to go okay there we go we got all our wires out our old connector don't need that so I'm not gonna lie I had some trouble getting these wires in uh, they're a little bit different they're a little bit fatter but I did get uh, I did get one installed in there as you can see and it's very tight I'll show you the trick to putting it in uh, there's a it's like a box around here where that's what helped hold it into place on the other one so you just you actually have to take a set of pliers here and flatten this down a little bit not super hard but just a little bit thicker than the actual tip of the pin and then when we go to put it inside We'll push it in like that, and uh, as you can see, it's starting to come through. And I'll just take a small pair of needle nose pliers, give it a pull, and it just you hear you can feel it lock into place. And uh, that's how it's done. So I was hoping this would work, and it was close, but that's the actual trick to getting them in to swap out this connector. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the other three, plug it together, and hope my backup camera works. Okay, so before I go any further and putting things back together, I'm going to plug this in. Okay guys, I'm inside the truck. I'm going to jam it in reverse. We'll see if that works. Of course, my battery dies right when I'm putting it in reverse, but uh, here we go again. Hard to see. It's working again, which is awesome. So now we're just going to go back there and uh, we'll tidy things up, put it all back together, look nice, and that'll be it. Alright, so we're at the back of the truck again. I've gone, put this plate on, uh, taped up my wiring, and uh, hooked the connector back up to that. And before I put it together, I also I put a bit of dielectric silicone inside my plug here. I saw a little bit of corrosion on one of the tabs, so that'll definitely eliminate it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and plug this back together, make sure it snaps, push your lock tab in, tuck this back into where it belongs and call it a day. And that's it. Factory camera, factory plug, factory wiring just the way I like it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one.